Hello everybody and welcome back to today's 5M video. Today we are checking out VSync, which allows you to kind of like sync all the weather on your server together and everything and make rain and you can change the time, all that good stuff. So today we're going to take a look on how to install it and get it working. First thing you need to do is go to the VSync page and then just click where it says download slash source and it will take you to the release page. It is an archived repository because this is no longer updated, but I have tested it and it still works perfectly fine. There are also forks you can find on 5M which do the exact same thing, forked off of this, just updated it again. Feel free to go download any of those as well, but I still just use the default VSync. To download it, you just click the zip file here and it will download into a zip file and open it with winzip, 7zip, winrar, whatever you use to open up these files. And you can see we get this with inside is um, another vsync folder and inside that is all the resource uh, info we need. So in order for us to install this, you have to have your 5M server already set up. I already have it set up and if you don't have one set up already, you can go install one and watch our video on how to install it. The link will be located down in the description if you didn't already have one installed. All right, to install this, you're going to go into your resources folder and drag in the second vsync folder. So you see the main vsync inside of this, there's a second vsync. Drag in the second vsync to just the overall folder, and you can see we have dragged it in here. Go to your server data folder, server.cfg, edit it with notepad or wordpad or notepad++, whatever you add, and then just do ensure or start vsync and just type it like that. Go ahead and save the file close. That's all you have to do to install it. Let's go over how you can set the permissions so you can actually do things in it. You're going to go to the resources and you're going to go down to vsync and you're going to go ahead and open up the server.lula file and this will allow you to set your admin. So by default it uses Steam. It also you can use IPs and stuff. For me I'm just going to use my Steam ID. So to get your Steam ID we're going to go online and get it. All right, so we went to steamidfinder.com and this is how we're gonna find our ID. I'm just gonna type my username for Steam ID and it's noodle0711, so I go ahead and type that and you can see it has pulled this up. And now you're just gonna use the Steam ID 64. So just go ahead and copy that and replace the default one here and save. I am now set as an admin from my Steam account. If you wanna do your IP, you would put your IP4 address here under admins. Go ahead and start your server on however you start up your 5M server and we're gonna hop in and make sure stuff has worked. So let's get straight into it. All right, so we have loaded into the server here. Now we're gonna use the commands and see if everything has worked. So you can do time and then just set the time between zero and like 59. So you're gonna do time, let's say 12, zero. So if we set it to 12, zero, it's gonna set the time to 12, zero. What if we wanted the weather to be like, I don't know, thunder, we can do that too. We can do weather, thunder, and it will change the weather to thunder. It may take just a moment to switch the weather because it has to sync across all players on the server, but everybody will be experiencing the same weather and the same time at the same point. So you can see the weather has changed to thunder and it is now running. What if you want to just make it morning? You can type slash morning. You want to make it night, type slash night, and it's the same thing. It just switches the time depending on um, everything. And of course, if you want it to just be extra sunny, you can do weather extra sunny and it will become automatically extra sunny for you. So make sure to use this if you want to sync time and stuff. I highly recommend it. It's really, really useful. Um, and if you have any questions or issues with the resource, please ask the author on the resource page. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. My name is Noodles. Hopefully this did help you out and I'll see you.